Good evening everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome to Linear Equation Basics Part 4 and in this video we are going to learn what is an equation. So, what is an equation? Well, equation is basically something equals something. Like you can say this equals that. Or we can say what is on the left is equal to what is on the right side. My favorite definition is balanced expression is an equation because that's what equation are. Let's see how. Let's learn more about this definition. Now, when we say balanced expression is an equation, it means there are two expressions and they are being balanced by equal to sign. So as we learned what is an expression in our last video, um, if you guys know what an expression is, that's great. If you guys don't know that, you could always check that video. I will put a link on top of your screen so you can click and learn more about expression which makes you easier to learn what is an equation. So, that's alright, so let me write an expression right here and see how this balances. 4x plus 10. Now, this is 4x plus 10, but we don't know what is that. And what is equals? Equals basically means equal to sign. So on the left hand side of our equation, we have the expression which is 4x plus 10. But there's nothing to balance this expression on the other side of the equal to. Means it is an expression, but it is not yet balanced. So how do we balance this? I think we can balance it by um, writing another expression on the right hand side so as we can see right hand side nothing has been written to balance the expression on the left hand side so what do we do now um, let me write an expression 8 x plus um, let me take 60 okay so as we can see this equals that our this is expression 4x plus 10 and the equals is equal to and our that expression is 8x plus 60. This means that our expression on the left hand side is equal to our expression on the right hand side. But remember this is the tagline equal to. As I said they are equal but they are only equal in terms of value they are only equal in terms of value. Now what is terms of value? Let me explain you what is a term of value. Let's say x plus 2 equals 10. So we can write x plus 2 equals 10. Now on this side you see only 10. Two digit value but on the left hand side you can see two constant being added together they are not the same numbers but their values are same 10 so that's called equal in terms of value so what did we learn today we learned what is an equation what is an equation this equals that or what's on the left hand side is equal to what's on the right hand side or my favorite definition which is balanced expressions is an equation simple as that now um, let me tell you something the next video will be how to solve linear equations so yes the big leagues are coming in let's move on so let me tell you something more about equations so that you know more which is my job because I'm a teacher. All right. So let me just tell you something that equations. I'm so bad with this pen. Sorry. All right. So equations. Equations can be solved. Oh my! That was that was horrible placing. Equations can be solved. And by that, what I mean is you could you could get a value for an answer could you answer is yes and why the answer is yes because they are group of expressions 
divided by equal to sign which means the both side are balanced so if you want to find the value of x on other side that is something to represent that x on the other side of the equal to that's why we could find the value of an equation let's see all right so let's take a different equation right here let's take let's take 5y plus 20 equal 12 y plus 55 now how do we do this first of all before you do let me tell you that 5y plus 20 is an expression as well as 12y plus 55 is an expression why this is an expression I've already told you check my last video now suppose that if you don't have this suppose if you don't have it can you find out the value of y no you cannot you cannot simplify further that's called an expression and that's why we say expression cannot be solved they can be simplified only now let me add something here right quick 12 y minus 55 or plus 55 now let's go ahead and do this now this video is not about how we solve an equation this is just to tell you what is an equation and how to solve linear equations we're gonna be doing in our next video so I won't go in details so first of all I would look for like terms so 5y and 12y are like terms so I would like to keep them at one side of the equal to so let me just bring them right here let me write 5 why since this is plus if it jumps on this side of equal to it's gonna change its value from plus to minus which gives out 12 y minus 12 y e equal to let me send this constant on the other side of the equal to so 55 that's the plus so that's a plus so if, and if it comes on the right hand side of the equal to it is gonna change its value from plus to minus so as we can see right here 5y minus 12y is minus 7y minus 7y 55 minus 20 is actually 35 now let me just break down minus 7y minus 7y equals minus 7 multiplied by y equals 35 so this is our variable and we have to find out the value for y okay so whenever this minus 7 times y so minus 7 times goes on the other side it is gonna change to division because that's the law of linear equation whenever multiply goes on the other side it changes to divide so let's see how it goes further so it's gonna be 35 divided by minus 7 which will give out the value of x minus 5 as you can see you can get a value for an answer only in an equation but never in an expression now it's time to confuse you a little bit now tell me so as we learn what an equation is balanced expression are equations but we can see on this side of the equal to we have an expression which is 2x plus 2 collection of terms 2x is a term and 2 is a constant which is also a term so there are two terms equals 10 now if you see on this side of the equal to we have just one constant now could this be an equation or if we don't have terms on other side of the equal to we can't say that that's an equation so what do you think about it well I'm gonna tell you why please stay tuned alright so let's write the equation 2x plus 2 equals 10 now you are right this is an expression no problem but this is not an expression this is a constant and a constant equal one term now if this is a one term this is not equal to expression then how can this be an equation well simple answer is 2x plus 2 equal we can change this into an expression by adding 0 when we add 0 the value is still gonna be the same the value will be 10 but we can call this an expression so that's how 2x plus 2 is 10
I hope that helps. So, this is gonna be the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me tell you, the next video will be how to solve linear equation involving brackets. So, the big league is coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant. See you